In this video, we cover the 370Z, the G37, the G35, the G25, and the Q60. These vehicles must be push button start. And we are using the 370Z in the demo at the end of the video. However, the operation is exactly the same for all vehicles listed. We're going to go ahead and jump in. There's two things that we need to remove. One is the seal plate right here, and you simply grab it at the back, and you just pull straight up. Like, it literally just pops right up. Set this aside. The next panel we remove is the passenger kit panel. There's a plastic nut up here that you have to remove in order to get this piece off. So go ahead and just simply unscrew it and it will pop right off. Once that plastic nut is off, go ahead and grab it down here and you're gonna pop it right off. You'll see that the push clips, there's two of them that go into the body. These might get stuck, so you might need a panel popper to kind of put some leverage on it. One of our new 3HT plug and play kits, there are no wires to cut or splice in the vehicle whatsoever. And this is not a two-stage programming uh, kit, which means you install this in the car, program the module to the vehicle, which takes about 15 seconds, and your remote start will work immediately. These are the BCM connectors. There's a green one, a black one. There's a gray connector here. This right here will go into this connector on the harness, if required. Not all applications and vehicles require this connector. You'll have a ground pigtail here which connects to a factory 10 millimeter bolt so you don't have to screw into your car. There's going to be a couple two pin jumpers here. Um, refer to the installation guide for uh, proper connection there. We have a relay chip with a fuse in it and this will plug right into there. All this is in the installation guide. I'm just going over uh, some quick details for it. BCM is located down in the passenger kick panel. You're going to use the black connector, which is right here, and you're going to use the green connector, which is back here. So go ahead and unplug these two connectors. And once you have them unplugged, go ahead and connect them to our T harness. So it's going to look just like this. The remaining ends of our T-harness are going to plug right back into the BCM. So just go ahead and fold it over and you're going to plug it straight back in. Check the chart on the back of the installation guide. If your vehicle year is highlighted in a gray box, then you have to use the gray connector. This plugs in right here at the BCM as well. So how this works is you're gonna take the two pin jumper here, you're gonna disconnect the one that was on the harness, you're gonna plug this one in, and then install this right here at the BCM just like um, we did with the green and the black one. Next, what we're gonna do is connect our main ground input here. There's a 10 millimeter bolt, so go ahead and grab your 10 millimeter socket. You simply take the bolt out, Put the ring terminal on and tighten it back up. The last thing that we need to do is take the relay chip with a fuse on it that looks like this and you're going to plug it right into the harness and make sure it clicks in place and you are now ready to program the module. I'm going to show you guys how to program the module real quick but I'm going to warn you that you need to pay attention to the install guide that comes with the kit because programming does change from time to time. So if you do watch this video and something changes in the firmware, it may not reflect the proper programming for uh, your vehicle. So with that said, I'm going to show you as of now how the programming is. So what you need to do is you're going to push the unlock button on the key fob. The light on the module will start flashing orange. When it does, you put the key all the way in the key port. You press the brake for about 15 seconds or until the green light turns solid on the module and then turns off. It usually takes about 5 to 10 seconds, could take up to 15. There we go, it's green, it's off. Release the brake, pull the key out, and now we're going to go ahead and jump out of the car and give you a demo. So the Z's all finished up, I'm going to give you a quick demo here. Uh, from the factory key fob. 
This kit is compatible with our smartphone module, which will give you unlimited range. It will lock the doors, unlock the doors, start the car, stop the car, and give you GPS location uh, in real time. So on this one, um, we're gonna give you a demo on the factory key fob and you simply hit lock three times. So you hit one, two, three. The parking lights will come on for a visual confirmation. You're gonna give it a second. Ignition fuel pump turns on and there we go. When you're ready to leave, simply tap the unlock button and you can get in the car. Once you're in the car, as long as you have your key with you, you simply press and release the brake pedal. Now it's running off of your key instead of the remote start mode. So you can hit the brake, pull it out of park, and drive away.